Now let's try the English. Uh, 1911 plays the uh, E5, the reverse Sicilian. Very responsible way to play. Oh, it looks like he's going for um, D5 as well. So should I play E4? I play E4, it's supported by the bishop. And get some exchanges if he plays D5. Oh, he takes. Uh, so which way should I take? I think I'll take with the um, B pawn, support my uh, pawn push to D5 at some, D4 at some moment. But for now, I will castle. And um, it looks like, so I wasn't successful in getting my, uh, <laughs> my favorite uh, Botvinnik set up. But uh, this might be a playable position. That's funny. I wanted to play d4, but now I need to defend this pawn, I think. Well, I could bring my queen out. Temporarily defends it and also attacks this pawn. We'll see how he, how he wants to play. He could play with b5, I guess. Yeah. Now he can take here. If I don't defend it, so I'll defend it. Um, so I thought uh, this was not any good because I queen the queen could come in here. But his knight can move, and then the the uh, yeah, and I can't go here or here, but it can go here, and then his rook is defended. So I guess I will just take that pawn. Then, okay, he's going to go here and gang up on that pawn. It's just trouble after trouble. I'm going to target the um, D pawn here and bring a rook to the center. Oh, so he closed. Closed the position. Interesting. Well, he can still put his knight here, I guess, so. No, no way of saving that pawn that I saw, so I'm just going to try and pile up on the uh, d-pawn. Actually, I could take the d-pawn now. I don't even need to pile up because it's a pin. It's a pin, so he stepped aside, and when I do this, he will um, put another rook there. Okay, so let's push here. Okay, so he wants to jump in here, forking my queen and rook. How annoying. And then he'll take my bishop. Oh well. Oh well. Yep, just as I expected. This is defended still. Now 
now he takes. Okay, this looks like a good square for my knight, but I guess he can take it. If I could double my rooks here and distract his queen, <laughs> maybe this pin would reemerge. But uh, okay, he spotted a good square for his knight. But now I can put my knight here, and if he takes, I can take back with the rook. And I can bring my queen here and my other rook here, so I can I can continue to pile up on this pawn. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I have to step back, huh? Yeah, let's see. Well, my um, my. A pawn is not under fire, so let's go here and bring my queen out like I wanted and double the rook. Keep this defended. Might have to step back with the king, this pawn is pinned. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Can push it forward. And he takes, I can take here with check and take back with the queen. And I'll be ganging up on this pawn. Got to play actively. It looked like he was planning to double his ricks there. So this exchange will. Actually, this exchange is not with check anymore. Shoot. <laughs> Before, I was always taking this rick with check. Uh, but he moved it there, and it's not with check anymore. So I have to step back and defend the... Defend that rook. Okay, so he's up two pawns. This pawn is hanging. So he gives it away. Oh, he does give it away. He plays like that. Let's um, attack this pawn. Might bring his knight here, but then I can move my queen here and attack the knight and the brook simultaneously. So he goes there. Hmm. I'm just going to try and <laughs> dislodge the knight. I have a loose bishop over here. Maybe he could get some mileage out of that. Although I can push this pawn to defend it. Okay, now if I go here, uh, if I push the H pawn, it will be trouble. So let's do this. He'll take the g-pawn if I push the h-pawn, so... So 
So yeah, there's the queen coming in. That was what I was thinking was going to happen at some point. Is there a way to distract this rook? Like if I take here, rook takes, queen here, check, but the king can run here now. It's no longer a... Um, it's no longer... Uh, mate on the back rank. No longer a back rank problem. <clears throat> and he's three pawns up now. But I am ready to push this knight away at last. We'll see if he finds a way. He's He's been pretty good so far at finding a way to save everything. This pawn is not under fire anymore, so he could move his rook. Yeah, queen there. I'm going to defend this pawn. Don't want the queen getting any closer. Oh, he's just getting the queen out of the way so we can make him make a um, passed pawn, looks like. Make a queen. Mm, now he's wondering where to put that knight. They're hitting my queen. Okay, so I go here. Got a pawn back. Okay, and he got... Um, he made some space for his king and blockaded my pawn. Let's see, his knight can hop in here. The queen is protecting here. I want to attack the rook. It leaves my uh, bishop loose, yeah. Yeah, I don't see a good good answer to that. Mm, so I can't actually um, promote that pawn just yet. I'll put his queen here, maybe, or he'll take here. Pushes. He really doesn't like giving up. <laughs> doesn't like giving up anything. I did. I must feel good that I uh, actually got a um, it's interesting. This is a mate threat. And that is maybe it's some kind of threat, but it's not a mate threat. <laughs> All right. Well, he was low on time and uh, I guess he stopped stopped thinking about his defense. So this move here to blockade my pawn created a weakness. And when he pushed this pawn forward to avoid losing it, it gave me a great perch for my bishop. So he just uh, his position just went downhill at the end. Interesting game. Uh, let's, let's see if we can get a uh, rapid game here. That was actually a slower game than I went to play. Well, we'll play it. We will play it. Um, let's see. Against e4, maybe the um, maybe the French. Yeah, I've done a French in a while. Well, it looks like we're moving fast. <laughs> we have a win hour variation. So this is all uh, book so far. And then uh, I've been playing this queen c7 line. And then from here, I don't know it too well. 
but the um, if the queen comes out here, you can play um, f5. I think that's the point, and the queen defends. That's one thing, and then there's there's also threats. If we erase this, there's threats here, like taking and then check here and grab the rook if he doesn't defend the right way. Well, the queen has to leave. So the queen can't defend the rook. And then you're then you get something good. Yeah, but here we play f5. Also f6 apparently is a move, but it would be the same if he takes. But I think taking is not that great. He has a check. You can play the check. And um I'll just block the check. I'm not sure what the right move is there. I really don't know. Out of my meager book knowledge here. But he can't uh, put a queen on this square. He could put a bishop there. But the queen just goes back. So I think this was a good result for me if the queen just goes back. Yeah, once again, I'm facing a stronger player. That's twice. So the knight here, let's see if he takes here, I can consider taking here. I guess that's not so great. He can pin if I take there with the knight. Ah, so it just launches his pawn forward to start um, undermining. Let's see, if he takes, if he goes forward and I ignore him and he takes, I can't take back because of the pin. Let's bring the queen over here. That's one option. I could play uh, h6 and then if he pushes to h5, I just push this pawn. I think I like that better than relocating the king. I might castle queenside, even with this broken, broken and opened queenside. I mean, <clears throat> white white has problems too. Ah, oh. so his idea now is that uh, if he pushes and I push, he will take. And if I take back on this pawn, he is passed, may become a hazard, but maybe not. Maybe that's not such a hazard. I'm going to let him do that. So I push, she takes, I'm going to take back with the pawn. And then he can't immediately push this pawn forward because my <clears throat> rook and knight cover this square. Ah, his bishop is there. I wasn't thinking of the bishop. So I guess I should have brought the queen over. The knight, the knight fortunately is guarding this square. Otherwise, bishop here would be a nice skewer, huh? Okay, and how can I um, how can I unravel from this position? Well, and how can he increase the tension? That's the question. That's the other question. Yeah, 
it uh, blocks the bishop's view of this square so I can castle him. And um, oh, we can we can trade bishops. I don't mind. I mean, if he takes the bishop, I'll take with the rook, and I won't be able to castle. But I'll just step up with my king and bring the rook over to this side. I guess. Might be kind of breezy over here on the queen side, huh? <laughs> it might be a bit breezy, but um, is he going to settle for a draw? No, he just wants to ruin my castling privileges. But as I said, I wasn't so worried about that. Now my knight is connected. My rook is connected to there. So the only problem I need to solve is this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blockade with the knight and then um, and then if he puts the bishop here I'll just step aside with the queen. Maybe he takes this knight. I'll have to take back with the king, and then he can take this pawn. But I can take this pawn. Could get tricky. Ah, queen there. He found a way to exploit my openness on the queen side. Let's see, I could move this knight here. He pushes the pawn. I'll take it. He does nothing. I'll take the bishop. Yeah, he's, he's, he's looking to kill me. That's what it is. Well, I have to. Uh, resolve this situation over here it's too much queen here is pretty nice hits the rook and traps the king but um, i don't have any follow-up that i see so i don't know if that's good enough he's looking to put his rook on the back rank i'm looking to take the bishop actually when he puts the rook on the back rank it threatens mate so Not on the back rank, on the second rank. He's going to put the rook here, right? Threatening to take here, and also um, threatening queen here mate. So I won't have time to take his uh, bishop. So is there a defense? I don't know why he hasn't played that already. Ah, knight takes here. Covers this square. He takes, I take here, but then the queen comes in and mates me. So knight here defends this momentarily. And 
this momentarily, but after, okay, so he came in with the queen. Wow. I'll, I'll wait and see if he asks for a take back. Oh, it's pinned. It is pinned. So that's why he was thinking. So this is some clever mating sequence. I take the uh, bishop to unpin my knight. My king has no moves, so that's not an option. I take this and then he can take my rook and uh, and I can block, I can block with my knight. And that will open up um, this line here. Open this line up for my rook and my queen. His rook is hanging. This knight is hanging. My rook is hanging. <laughs> my knight is hanging. Oh, my knight is defended. Yeah, I thought bringing, bringing the rook in here was a better move. But maybe this is good enough. Looks tricky. But it's positions like this that make the uh, <laughs> make the French interesting, the win hour especially. So if I take this rook and he takes back, then I can come in and check on the back rank. There is chances for both sides in these positions. And um, knight takes here is with check if I want to take that way. And then take here or come in here, depending on how he takes back. He could just start taking pawns too. Ah, he took. He took. He decided my knight was too much of a menace. I think taking back is the thing to do. If he brings his rook in, I can bring my rook over. And I still have the ability to threaten his king. I have to take this pawn, I think, though. So I'm down the exchange here. His king is open, my king is open. He's taking pawns in the center, if I'm not careful. But this pawn, Looks like a potential issue. He could lift his rook up to defend that pawn. Might be a nice thing to do. I'd probably step my queen here to attack this pawn. And start threatening his king. Uh, maybe one way out of this game <laughs> without, without losing. One way to avoid losing this game might be to do some kind of perpetual check against his king. But he does have a couple of uh, rooks here. So yes, he ties my pieces down that way. So I think this is the only move. He's not, not giving me time to take this pawn like I want to do. But um, there was a check. Could have gone for the check. Check, king up, check. Uh, your king could maybe just go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, there we go. I was, I was waiting for that. Um, what do I do now? He's going to uh, push this pawn forward, attacking my rook if I don't take. If I do take, he'll put the queen there at the check. Okay, so let's think this time. If I go here with check first and his king steps up here or here. Then I 
can check again and the king will step up further or step back. Just wondering if there's a way, any way I could get my queen to check and take this pawn. Check, check. And then his king will be on this row or on this row. And my queen will not be in a good position. Let's see, if I take this pawn, he pushes. I could take his rook. He could take my rook. And then it's pretty much all over. I take back and then he takes my knight with check. Looks bad. I take this pawn, he takes with the queen. I put my rook here. That actually has a little bit of promise. His queen can't come in here and check me. Yeah, let's take. I decided taking is better after all. Because if the queen takes and I go here with the rook, the queen will have to move aside. It can't move with check. And then, uh, then the king is that much more exposed. Queen here would, would start to threaten mate. Or maybe even queen here. Rook here. Could drive the king up. Check from behind. Yeah, so he's up a pawn in the exchange in this position. <clears throat> and he's about to grab another pawn if he wants to. But, uh, well, all kinds of stuff are hanging. <laughs> he could just leave off and uh, let me take here. Oh, we took there. Oh, that's, that's a nice idea because now he can take back with the queen and I can't uh, block with the rook. Okay, if I step up here, the queen will check here. I step to the side, Queen will check here. So let's um, stay attached to my rook. I'm very attached to that rook. I don't, didn't want him to get a check and chase my king away from the rook and maybe get a fork between the king and the rook. Like the queen check here was looking kind of annoying. So queen takes pawn check, it's the obvious move. Maybe there's some clever one. There's also queen check here. My plan is just to park my king over here. And checks here, I guess I step aside. Checks here, can't check there. Yeah, I think I can escape the checks. <clears throat> and anyway, white wants more than a perpetual check. White is going to look for some mating continuation or some way to simplify to a win. An end game win. Ah, the queen here is defending this pawn. So maybe uh, white can just sit like this and push this pawn. Well, then I can, I'll, I'll put my rook here. I want to be able to come in here with my queen. So yeah, the queen is defending this square. So if I put the rook here, then I don't have to worry about where my king is. Okay, so yeah, the queen just pushed a pawn. 
and let's put the rick here try and break break into black's camp which is not very secure at the moment Oh, that check, that check, that got me. Yeah, I was looking at this uh, coordination here that was looking pretty good, but this check is probably fatal. Yep, queen here is mate. Well, good game, sir, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Bye now.